let's see if I can, I'm going to try to find your card. But I'm not going to try to find your card like, like most people would. Because that's not very entertaining. Most people, the way they find your card is they go through and they go, uh, is that your card? Is that it? No. No, that's not mm -hmm. it. That's, um, it has that, a lot of hearts. It has a lot of hearts. <laughs> 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 All right. I tell you what, I, I told you I'd find your card in an interesting way. So the way I'm going to find your card is uh, I, I'm going to do what's called a giant fan, and this is what a giant fan looks like. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Do you see your card there? There's too many, isn't there? Here, let's make it a little easier for you. Do you see? Is that your card? It's not the king of spades? Is it the... No? Oh. Hang on a second. Can I have another chance at it? <laughs> do you mind if I take another shot? Because, you see, what I try to do when I do this trick is I try to use sleight of hand. But it's really difficult. Sleight of hand is a difficult thing to master. And the guy who taught me magic, he always said, if you fail at sleight of hand, resort to sleight of mouth. And, of course, what he meant by that is try to talk your way through it. But I took him literally, and I tried to do it like this. Oh. Oh. Hello. Huh. 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 Oh, an F of five. No. <laughs> okay, all right. No. Thank you so much for 